Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we are looking at take a look. What? We're taking a look at the number one card in Clash Royale right now. Lavo has actually the highest win percentage in ladder all over from 0 to 8,000 trophies. It's kind of crazy, but it's like for that almost half a year. I don't really know why, but Lavo just looks like a really solid card and also kind of easy to play. So even beginner don't have any problems to pick up Lavo. If you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, using Creator Good Morning Shop is highly appreciated. I would say let's now jump to the games and let's destroy our opponent. Here we go, guys. Here we're actually in the first game. It's kind of insane to see how good Lavo really is. Once again, thank you so much for all the support. Um, as I said, it's kind of insane to see Lavo is kind of number one card from win percentage for such a long time. So I got a really positive elixir trade with guards. We just went lava first player because why not? Um, okay, so he's just gonna be able to kill it, right? But I can just go and Fanner Dragon here to be fair. So he doesn't have his ability. So then Fanner Dragon will do a ton of work and I'm really interested to see how he's gonna defend. He needs to cycle log, okay. He's gonna go fireball here. And now I'm interested to see, does he have arrows, does he have a fireball? Even if he has fireball, I mean, we wasted four elixir for the zappies, but he also wasted four elixir. So honestly, it's not too bad. He has good answers against us, but that's why we have fireball arrows, right? If you guys don't face queen, use fireball zap instead, but I face a ton of queen on top line, top 200 in the world, because most of the people are maxed out there. So, I would say I'm just gonna go Lavan once again, because I have guards and Thompson in hand, and I don't really want to use my Thompson first, because then he's just gonna wait until he dies, and then he will bridge spam me. So... This is kind of the perfect Thompson placement. I'm just gonna go minions here. They're doing a really good job cleaning everything up. And as you guys can see, this is the perfect Thompson placement you really want to do. And as you guys can see, we're getting a perfect defense. Um. I'm just gonna go for this. I'm just gonna go fireball this. Honestly, that's kind of fine. I think the queen almost dies. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I'm just gonna go arrows here. Hmm. I'm just gonna go guards here. Tombstone. He's just gonna log. I don't really get the log. I mean, I get the log because he thinks he's gonna get a ton of damage, but he wasted just two elixirs. So I could just go in front and allow in the back. I think it looks like it's going to be, hopefully, <laughs> a 1-0 game for us. Gods. No, I messed up the arrows! That was so bad. I think if I would have hit it, the arrows, it would have been fine. I'm just gonna go for this here. I think I can just go Inferno Dragon here. Let's go fireball here. Just gonna go guards. Redirected, hopefully. No. Okay. Okay, interesting fireball. He's going all in. So with a bit of luck, we might freak on a 12 HP! What? Here we go guys, here on next game, I'm just gonna go for my Tombstone first play and let's see how he's going to respawn. So he just cycles bats in the back. Honestly, this is kinda safe to lava on because he just used a ton of elixir. If he has like a Mega Knight or something, I can just go and f Oh, he has... I'm just gonna go guards because he might have arrows, so I'm just gonna go guards directly on top to not give him the time to arrow in. But it's like a huge pull of elixir trade. Okay. I kinda wanna wait for his play. I'm just gonna go Balloon here, why not? That's kinda how I need to play this matchup. Okay, I mean he needs to, he also needs to defend, he cannot just let it go. Yeah, okay, he's gonna go bats, which is okay. He's gonna go in for my Inferno Dragon here. He's gonna go for my minions. I hope my Inferno Dragon stays alive, would be cool. But I don't think so. I hope my minions stay alive. That's kind of good. I'm just gonna fireball that instant. And I hope my minions survive. They do! And we are honestly in a really good spot. And this is kind of how you want to play against Golem. You want to go Lavant in the back. 
kind of getting a port of elixir trade even if we would have just gold in the bag i've done foundering right which at least in single elixir time is really really good for this port of elixir trades i even think i'm just gonna lava on here i'm just gonna lava on here um, i thought about going for the free coin but i think with him having bats it wouldn't make sense so hmm bats are really good against me to be honest because i just have arrows and it's not a really good trade so i can just go for tombstone here I can still just eat, uh, Inferno Dragon this. If he goes in for bats, I'm just gonna arrow that. Going minions here. Yeah, I just wanna kill the knight, which as soon as I can. Let's go. I'm just gonna go guards in the back. And I'm just gonna go lava on here. Honestly, a really smart lava on, because now I can just lava loon here and just basically taking his tower. He cannot really defend this, and he knows that. So I'm just gonna go fireball like this, because he might. Oh, let's go! We got him, guys. We got him. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go for a Thompson here because I'm just wanna make sure I'm not gonna get free coins. I'm just go for Inferno and low just to make sure the golem dies really, really soon. So I'm just gonna go for guards here, pulling it back, waiting until yeah. That's kind of what he does. So I'm just going for minions here. I'm just gonna go fireball all of this back. And we are winning this one. This is kind of how you want to beat golem decks. I mean, bats are really good against us. He has knight, which also... And we have the fireball and skating. I don't really think it's the worst golem variation. But still, he had tornado. He still had bats. So he had great answers against us. But we were able to beat him. Just gonna arrow that. I mean, like, look at my cycle. What's going on today with my cycle? It's not really great. I don't really like to see it. Okay, Inferno Dragon. I'm just gonna guards. Looks like he doesn't have zaps. So I still get a solo counter push. So honestly, a really good start for us. Even with the bad cycle, because he doesn't have the best res He needs to fireball that. Okay, bro. So I would say I can just lower in the back. Could be a mirror matchup, though. Could be a mirror matchup. I'm just gonna fireball this. I'm just gonna minions. I hope he doesn't arrow in time. Let's go! I'm just gonna arrow now. Okay, now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna guard support. I hear you. That's kind of my plan. I hope it's just one shot. Please, please, let's go. Okay, we are fine. All good, okay. But he, once again... Let's go go Balloon at the bridge, right? Baiting out Inferno D. That's okay. Tombstone. Look at my Inferno Dragon. Honestly, like, my Tombstone placement was way better. So if he goes in... I need to go for Lava on, kind of. I'm just gonna go Lava on like this. I don't really want to build up a huge push now, because he will Lava at the bridge also, yeah. I have still Skeletons to support me. Okay, that's fine. Let's go now at bridge here. Like, why not? Arrows. Okay, I might just lava in the pocket. Is that the place, the question? I think it is. Lava, minions like this in case he arrows. Arrow all, please. Let's go, good timing. Got guards in the, in the pocket. I am just gonna fireball this. And I'm just gonna balloon at the bridge. Like, I mean, he can go in now. But the good thing is, he still has to defend this. Vanity. Just gonna go for this and this. Just guards to, to kite it over, right? Arrows. I just need some lava on chip. Tombstone like this, it's going to kite in this positioning. And the lava one is chipping away. He needs to fireball and fair during, and we can basically just fireball defensive. GG's well played, beating him in, in the lava on mirror matchup. Here we go, Tombstone first play. Guards. Mm. 
Infernal Dragon. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it looks like Giant Graveyard. We just love this deck. Fireball. It's gonna use this ability. It's fine. I think this case I need to lava. And I hope he plays minions, honestly. Over bats. Okay, never mind. What is this deck? It's gonna go lava. And I could go... Maybe Shrift can same lane. Hmm. Okay, Tombstone low. Means I guess I hope he doesn't have arrows, but it looks like he has. Yep, he does. Let's go guards like this. Extracting most of the stuff. I mean, the guards, honestly, they were perfectly placed. Hmm. Just gonna fireball this into the lava hound, hopefully. And I'm just gonna inferno during this. Okay, bro! Okay, bro, that's a really interesting deck. It's like kind of a mid ladder deck facing like a top two in the world facing a mid ladder deck. Okay. 2022, we are ready. All good. Okay, I'm just gonna balloon here. Let's see what he does. Does he have anything against balloon? Bomb tower. Bro, what is this deck? Please, bro, tell me that. He goes most likely minor if he's smart. Okay, I'm still defending this. I think it's worth it. Lava on the back. Final Dragon. Balloon. Hmm. Minions. Fireball. You will arrow that now, so I'm just gonna guard here. Okay, minions. Maybe I get like the push to the side. It's kinda a cool move. I'm just gonna go arrow here. Fireball. No! I messed it up. Gods. Dragon. Balloon. Arrows. Okay, hmm. Tombstone, he's gonna arrow now and I lost, right? GG's well played, sir. GG's well played. You played really well. Honestly, really interesting deck, but that's what you sometimes face. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. Most of the time your opponent wins and you lose. So, GG's well played. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future. And let me know why is Slavon the number one card in Clash World with win percentage wise. And I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching and goodbye guys.